Hey there everyone, this video will be sort of an introduction I've made for my little project. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I posted a short animation video a while back, and in that video, I explained a bit of what I'm doing here. I've made up some Wirecats clans of my own, and this video will be talking about them, how the clans were established, and about some of the cats currently living in it. In the comments down below, I want to hear your questions about the world, the cats, and things you'd like to see them do. Essentially, we'll be creating our own warrior cat story that's driven by your suggestions. I'll animate them to the best of my ability, kind of like the Ask Vlogs of Tumblr. But we won't be following one cat in particular, but all of the clans as a whole. Now, allow me to tell you about how Grove Clan, Weld Clan, Meadow Clan, and Pond Clan came to be. Long ago, stories about cats living in the wild were common. These stories were old and had changed over the years, and many details had been lost. The base of these stories are that some cats formed a colony of their own in the forest, where there were no humans to confine them, and they would have all the prey they could hunt. Lots of cats talked about going and looking for the, them, or making groups of their own. Then, a cat whose name has long been forgotten decided to go for it. We'll call him the first leader. He lived all his life on the streets, and had nothing to lose. So, the first leader started searching for dependable allies, picking up six cats who agreed to follow him into the woods. The cats traveled for a long time before they finally found a place to go home. Thick forest, open field, and a pond were all theirs for the taking. They set up their den in an open grove near the bright edges of the forest. Here, they spent several seasons in peace. They were not yet a clan, and they had very few set rules. During this time, a new cat was born into the group. The young cat's mother was, to put it simply, entitled. Her mate was the current leader of the group, and as such, she expected the best of everything for herself and her kids. Being the firstborn and strongest of his litter mates, the young cat was his mother's favorite. We'll call him the first rogue. Foreshadowing. His mother spoiled him and never taught him right from wrong. As the first rogue grew older and his father died, he was enraged that he hadn't been chosen to lead in his father's place. With that, he took what cats who would follow him and left to form his own group, promising that he would give them all the best lives and that in time, the other cats would follow him. The first rogue led his group on vicious attacks against their old home. The new leader of the first group didn't know what to do. They started consulting their elders on how they should fix this. Fighting back seemed like a bad idea. It would only bring more bloodshed. The new leader racked their brain for answers. Then, one night, he met an old cat who lived in a two-leg farm near their territory. This old cat knew much more about the stories than any other cat, and they taught the new leader of the rules and laws that the stories told of, the ways of the clans. The young leader took these stories back to his group, who agreed that with a structure, they could better run their clan. That is how Grove Clan was formed. Many of the cats had been killed by the second group by now, and those surviving were ready to fight for their lives in their homes. They retreated deeper into the darker parts of the forest, preparing to engage the first rogue's group. In the meantime, Two cats who followed the first rogue to form his own group began to see his true nature, and regretted leaving with him. As the time came for the group to face off with Grove Glen, they and a few others began to revolt from within. When the day of the final battle came, both cats led their followers to stand beside Grove Glen and face off with the first rogue's group. This was how Pond Clan and Meadow Clan were formed. The first rogue's group was defeated, and the remaining cats dispersed. The descendants of these became the loners and rogues who roam the lands today. World Clan came to be when a few cats of Grove Clan decided to remain living in the darker parts of the forest where they sheltered from the rogues. To this day, the four clans have their ups and downs. Currently, 
growth plan is led by Cherry Star, a sleek and well-built brown tortoiseshell she-cat, and her deputy, Little Fox, a ginger and white tom. World Clan's leader is Lizard Star, a scarred, brown-spotted tabby tom with a sleek coat, and his deputy, Batwing, a small, classic tabby tom with long fangs. The leader of Metal Clan is a black and white tom called Lightning Star, with his deputy, Blizzard Coat, a white she-cat with long fur and blue eyes. Finally, Dive Star is the leader of Pond Clan. He is a large gray tome, and his deputy, Willow Pelt, is a great classic tabby she cat. For the most part, things are at peace between them. It's New Leaf, and the previous Leaf Bear left all of the clans mourning many deaths and looking forward to times of peace and recovery. You'll find a full list of clan allegiances in the description. But to give us a start, for the first animation, I thought we could peek in the Meadow Clan. Lightning Star has an apprentice ceremony to conduct. Today, Rabbit Kit and Ginger Kit have reached the age of six moons and are ready to be apprenticed. Ginger Kit, do you promise to train hard in the ways of a warrior and follow the laws of Meadow Clan so long as you live? I do! Until you receive your warrior name, you will be known as Ginger Paw. Ginger Paw. I have chosen Swift Whisker to be your mentor. Swift Whisker, you are a great hunter and a fine warrior. I know you'll teach Ginger Paw well. Rabbit Kit, do you promise to train hard in the ways of a warrior and to follow the laws of Meadow Clan so long as you live? I do. Until you receive your warrior name, you'll be known as Rabbit Paw. Rabbit Paw, I have chosen Blizzard Coat to be your mentor. Blizzard Coat, you're my deputy and a great teacher. I know you'll pass on your skill and knowledge to Rabbit Paw. Don't worry, you'll be a great apprentice. Thank you. Before I dismiss the meeting, remember to be careful out in the territory. The foxes had a bad leaf bear too. Dismissed. This video took me a lot longer than I planned. It's my fault, so sorry. But I do have some plans for more videos in the works. In the meantime, I'm going to let this video have some time to just exist. After all, my channel is incredibly small, so a series like this one that is dependent on comments is going to need time to, you know, actually get comments. <laughs> Which is okay as doing all this animating was a lot more tiring than you'd think. Also, I have a mic now, and I'm aware my lip syncing was trash. I'll get better. Really quick, I want to thank my dad for voice acting Lightning Star for me. Thanks! And I wish you all a good day, and remind you all to stay safe during quarantine. Until next time.